Hey, this is the Shadow Mantis, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last part, I'm pretty sure we completed Beach Bowl Galaxy, and in this part, I'm gonna talk to the Toad. You have a letter from Luigi! Bro, I got the star, but now I can't get back. Oh. What a surprise. Alright, give me the picture. Alright, so let's go to whatever galaxy that is. I'm pretty sure it's Battle Rock. <coughs> let's go to Battle Rock. Alright. Grab onto the Pole Star. And yes, Battle Rock. Ooh. That's a green question mark. Ooh. Oh, now I remember. We're gonna get into the... the weird shit now. Battle Rock Barrage. <coughs> right, so just get into the first mission of the game. Grab all the pull stars. Normal stuff. Listen to the beautiful music. It's amazing. And clear my throat. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Launch star. And get to the main part of the level. Well, not even that it's not even that big a level now that I think about it. A good level, but not a very big one. And start the ship. If you shoot those little things with the star bits, they actually explode and give you a coin. So if you get hit by one and you need a coin back, like right there, all you have to do is, you know, shoot, shoot one. Right. I actually think in this episode we are going to... God, my throat is really weird today. We are going to go to a new dome, which means I'm going to have to fight Bowser Jr. in this episode. And I'll still be going to the library. No, not library. The uh, the kitchen every once in a while. That was that was pretty good. I tried to do that in the original playthrough. Ah, oh, god damn it! I look away from you for one friggin' second. And there's Luigi. Someone help me, bro. He says that way too much in this game. He doesn't even say it that much normally. But in this game, he does. Oh my god. Right, I need a coin. And I need it fast. If you guys could come over here, that'd be great. Uh, you go over there. You follow. What the hell are you doing? It's not what I told you to do. You are stupid. Wait, what's 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 this? Oh, it's a couple of star bits. Perfect. Wait. God. God damn it. This game can be so confusing with its controls. Honestly. Like, its controls are so confusing when you're upside down. So, what I'm thinking is. I'm gonna take the bullet bills from this side, go all the way across on the right side up. Come on! There you go. And then we're gonna go upside down. No, follow me. No! God damn it! Why don't you listen to me? Oh, no, 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 no. God! Getting a fair bit of star, star bits, though. I guess is good. 
I guess. Just follow me. Just, just follow. No, no, no! God damn it! You, follow me. Good. Right, we're gonna go all the way across over here. Then we're gonna go upside down. <sighs> Why does Luigi get himself stuck in the most annoying of places? All right, all right, all right, all right. There. Wah! I thought I'd go crazy in there. Try to save me sooner next time, bro. No, no, next time I won't even save you. That's right, this star is green, and that will be told later on in the game, I guess. Well, basically this star is green because of uh, one thing. Basically, when you get three green stars, that's the amount of green stars there are in the game, you unlock three new levels that are probably the hardest levels in the game. No, probably not. There are three difficult levels. You rescued a green power star. These stars have a special power. Ask the green lumas about them. After all, they will transform into green power stars one day. Yes, I'd like to save my game. But I would not like to go ask the green luma what the green stars do. So actually now I'm gonna go off to a Bowser Jr. level. Are we really gonna start this again? Well, it depends. Like, how many levels do I have left in that kitchen? Alright, so I still have some of the ghostly galaxy. Um... I could finish ghostly galaxy. Yeah, I'll finish Ghostly Galaxy and then head over to the Bowser, or Bowser Jr. stage. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Beware of Bouldergeist. Oh my god. Man, do I love this. This is a good boss fight, I'm gonna be honest. Bouldergeist is probably one of my favorite bosses in this game. It's basically a ghost. <laughs> Get this. Made out of boulders! As you probably could have told by the name. Yeah. No. Get out of my way. Oh. Just go over here. Oh, and here we are introduced into... I'm pretty sure bomb boost. Right here, basically you can uh, use your spin attack, and you l actually latch onto their tongues somehow. I don't know how that works, but basically you can use them as a big, well, kind of. I don't even know. It's kind of like a. How would I say? A ball and chain. That's what I would call it. A ball and chain. Except, it's a ghost. A, a tongue and... A tongue and bomb ghost. <laughs> that didn't work. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> I'll stop spinning you. There. That's the place I need to get in. Oh, I should have not spun. Then I'd get into this place. Right there. Get some star bits. Get some star bits. Maybe even get some star bits. Nope, those are coins. God, God damn it. Too bad. So sad. Not really. It's not really that sad. But still too bad. 
Go away. Oh, 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 what happened there? What happened there? I have no clue what happened there. Bouldergeist is also another one of those uh, levels that become a Daredevil Comet level. And it is... God fucking damn it! It is another one of... It's probably the most difficult uh, Daredevil Comet level. Probably. Well, at least I got the coin. You go away. Alright, give me the coins, give me the coins. Give me the coins. Alright. Go around. Oh, we're on the other side. That's weird. Oh, one up, wow. I don't remember that being there, but then again, I probably don't remember anything in this game. Over here. God damn it, no! Oh my god. How did I get that? I have no clue how I got that. Honestly, I don't care. Let's just latch onto that. And use the launch star to launch myself. Oh, to that, this thing. Alright, just get on top of it. So much easier to move around. Actually, no, it's not. Doesn't matter, we're almost done the level. Here we are at the Bouldergeist Arena. Right there. Oh god, I, l I actually really like this boss though. I'm not saying he's easy, but I do like him. So basically for this boss is, he's gonna throw rocks at you. Now, a black rock will turn into a, uh, a bomboo, and uh, normal rocks, they don't turn into anything. And he'll also sometimes throw gold rocks, and they turn into coins for you. Um, and basically, they that's just for like regaining health. So yeah. So what you're going to want to do is use the bomboos to actually latch onto them, and use them as a uh, ball and chain to hit... Bouldergeist, and once you've hit him enough times, he'll do this. Come here. Come here. Yes, he'll do that. And basically, then he'll regenerate again. But this time, he'll have hands. Now the hands... The hands are just fucking annoying. That's all the hands do. They're just there to annoy you. Oh wow, a hundred, hundred star bits. Wow. Now this on Daredevil Run is extremely difficult. You can also use the bombus to break the hands, but it's not very useful. Just, just, uh, just use the bombus normally to hit him. If you can't hit the... If you, oh, god damn it, I died. You know what? Oh, don't, don't die right there. Yes, I already saw this cutscene. Alright, come on. See, that's the gold thing I'm talking about. Hit him once. Essentially, you just need to hit him six times. No, actually, eight times with the bombers. 
So, it is a pretty difficult boss. Even without the Dare of the Devil. But with the Dare of the Devil, it's even harder. Now you can use your spin attack to break those little spires there. Because the spires do get in the way. So, it would be a very good idea to actually just get rid of them. Hit him. There. Now he's on his second cycle. Luckily, he only has two cycles, not three. If he had three, this guy would be almost near impossible on Daredevil. He's not too hard without his hands, but once he has his hands, he gets really difficult. Alright. Come on. Alright, come on. Break the rocks. He sometimes even breaks the rocks on his own when he does the punches and just moving around normally. Alright, there we go. Come on. There! He's dead. Now, the thing the thing is, do we have time for another another level? Yeah, sure, I'll do the Bowser Jr. level. It's really is this one actually fights Bowser Jr., so And I remember that fight being very easy because it's just airship levels. Yeah, it's just an airship level. A lot of airships, that's all it is. Save my game, yes. Fine. So now what I'll do is go to a new galaxy. Bowser Jr.'s Airship Armada. Sinking the airships. How, how do you... How do you do that? How do you sink an airship? I... Uh, forget it. Just forget it! I don't even care anymore. It doesn't make sense. I remember this being a short level. Uh, just like the first... Bowser Jr. level. Bowser... The first Bowser Jr. level was just... <laughs> that, it was just really easy. It was one planet and then the boss. And the boss was just easy. Well, what's that? I've never seen. I don't remember ever going to that one. This planet. The hell, this is difficult. Why did I ever want to go to that planet? Just killed almost killed me. Never going to that planet again. All right, so press that, and we're off. This this is a really easy level. Oh, all right. Do not jump and spin in this level because you are likely going to actually just drift away from the little airship thing that's carrying you. So don't do that. Alright, let's talk to Bowser Jr. You just don't give up. Fine then. I guess I'll just whoop you myself. You want the Grand Star so bad? You're gonna have to take it from me. Alright. So this is actually a very similar battle to the Camilla battle. Uh, just hit Bowser Jr. a couple of times with this uh, with the Koopa shells, and he'll be done. 
it's really, really similar to the Camilla battle. Except, in my opinion, easier. Because they provide way more shells than you need. Oh, now he turns vertical. Now I remember. One hit. That was not even close. Alright, two hits. And he's done. See? Five hits. And he's dead. Where's the Grand Star? There it is. We got it. It's still only 21 minutes. I usually end it off at 22. Usually. You got a Grand Star! So... I'm assuming... That I make another episode. Which I will, don't worry, I'm not quitting this Let's Play. I don't even know why I just said that. Uh, in the next episode we are going to be heading to the next dome. Which I'm pretty sure is the bedroom dome. Oh. Oh. I see where this is going. Yes, I do. You got a star! Sinking the airships. Bowser Jr.'s Airship Armada. Galaxy complete. You discovered a new galaxy. You mean four of them? Ah, new st storybook chapter? Thanks to you and your friends, all of the domes in the lower level are working again. Once the engine room in the upper level has power, the whole observatory will be working. Then the common observatory will fly as a starship once again. And you will be able to fly to your special one, in the center of the universe. Yes, I'd like to save my game. Alright. So essentially all you need to do is beat four of these domes to beat the game. Um, and if you mean col collecting all the stars, you should have enough stars to actually beat the game at that time. Like, and I'm talking about every single star. So when you get to the engine room, you won't actually need to complete the next two, two domes. But since this is a 100% playthrough, that's what we'll be doing. We'll be completing all the domes. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next part. Goodbye.